for your money this new with the holidays fast approaching. We're all busy, of course, making plans, trying to make our to do lists ready. And if you have kids, this is a good time to teach them financial information. Andy Mattingly from Form Credit Union is here with us now to discuss how the holidays can actually be a good chance to teach those good financial money habits for the little ones. So, yes. what age are we looking at here? When can they well, start to well, grasp? Well, you can this? really start at about most kids around five. You kind of teach that idea of the value of the gift to the person you're giving it to is more important than the price of the gift. So that's a good concept you can start with so that they understand that. But why the holidays? Why is this a good time and an important time to teach them? Well, because most of us do all of our holidays based on the traditions that we grow up with. And so if you have poor financial habits, you're probably teaching those poor financial habits to your kids. So you want to break that cycle, so to speak, so that they don't have the same bad habits in the holidays. Okay, so what's the number one bad one that we should avoid teaching them? Well, putting everything... Whether, whether we're purposely teaching them or not. Right, well, putting everything of the holidays on credit, you know, and making them think that the only way that holidays can be fun is if you overspend and have <laughs> large credit card bills. We asked the kids to make wish lists. What do they want from Santa? And this could really help them, too, in lessons. Yeah, because you want to not start your shopping with just a list of names and no idea of how much you're going to spend on those people or what even ideas you might have for them because that's how you end up overspending. So teaching them that it's a good idea to have everyone's name and what you want to buy for them and maybe an idea of how much to spend is a great Kind of like a budget a little yes, bit there. Yes, exactly. Cool. What, what do we not, uh, or, or what can they learn from these smart habits? Well, I think one of the things they can learn is, is how important in holidays is to gift within your means. You know, we talk about living within yeah. your means, but you need to gift within your means, and that it's important not to overspend just to make an impression. But then, you know, you teach them this, and then next year's a new year. How do you make sure that you're reinforcing these lessons with them? Well, I think one of the things is you want to talk to them about things. So maybe Uncle Joe loves chocolate-covered cashews, and, you know, they're 20 bucks. But maybe you buy that for him because you say, this is what he loves, and he's never going to wear the $125 holiday sweater and so you're starting to teach and reinforce that it's the value to the person not the value of the gift. I like that one. Parents if they understand that they made a mistake should they talk about those mistakes? Yeah I think it's good to share with your kids the mistakes that you have made so they can see you know and if you tell them you know I overspent one Christmas and it took me 12 months to get out of it and I had to give up vacations and all this stuff and it's not worth it they'll understand that and say oh yeah I don't want to ever do that so they'll think about that. So this could also be a learning experience for the parents too. Yes, I wasn't going to say that, but yes, <laughs> it could be a very good learning experience for parents because maybe some will have to change their habits mm -hmm. to teach the good habits to their kids. I tried the giving is better than receiving with a three-year-old about two weeks ago. Not old enough to get it. Yeah, yet. probably not. not <laughs> All right, Andy, where can people find you if they have more questions? At forumcu.com. Thank you.